guys in the last video we have talked about the project summary and detail now in this video we will talk about the mainly focused on the designing part now i, I will add a add new add new design and i have to enter the design name that will i will add the proposal first then default profile i will select the default profile the default pro, uh, default one and i will hit confirm now when i will hit the confirm button then you can see the studio part when you see the url it is the studio part all the tool by which we will select um, you know make the design which will be mentioned in the left side and all the summary will be visible in the right side now first of all we will in this video we will talk about all the tools that is present in our studio page or we call as the designing page so first is the model tool model tool is basically flat roof tool pitch roof tool draw face basically when wherever you want to place the panel on the roof or you want to place the proper site the site can be make at the help of the flat roof or pitch roof or draw face let me draw a rough roof by the help of the draw, uh, flat roof after that you have to enter the property right now next tool is the obstruction tool by the help of obstruction tool you can make the obstruction um, where you don't want to place the panel that will be you know covered in the obstruction part like the cylinder i will make this uh, turbo vent by the help of the cylinder now there is a here skylight as well to so skylight can be made by the help of the polygon like this one or there is a one more tool for the polygon instead of there is a rectangle tool as well like this one i can make this and then i can rotate it then i can move it here like and there is a more obstruction like the safety line handrail and the property line safety line we have to always make sure it should be created under under the roof not not on the edge of the roof like this i can see this in a 3d as well there is a three, uh, 3d shortcut double click like i can see this now there is a more tool that is called the module there is a add sub rm add module delete mode add delete mode and there is a component tool from where you can add the inverter inverters then there is the dimension tool dimension by the help of the dimension tool you can mark the you can measure the distance from one object to the second object that is 5 meter right then there is the laser tool laser tool will be helpful for selecting the modules let's suppose i paste place the modules here if you want to use the laser tool you have to create a rectangle or a box so that the selected module should be come under this box when this module is selected like this you can delete this or you can move this as well like this one right next is the text box you can use this text box to add the text box area here which will be visible in the 3d link as well like i am entering here the size is four and the color is blue and i meant anything else hello guys then i can complete this then i will select this text box and increase the size as well like this it will be visible in the 3d as well and there is some more tool that is called the i there is a view button you can go to the 3d and line diagram directly from here next is the layer setting layer setting that the arc should be visible like this one and the stringing should be visible yeah this one and edge center should be visible yeah like this one then i will select the roof you can see the arc is visible that's how you can choose the layer which should be visible or which should not be visible next is the design setting you can change the design setting for particular design setting from here like the sub array you know the module should be turned black when using the mono crystalline module then all the setting are present in a design setting that's all from this video thank you for watching guys